What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I am Brian and today I have what was supposed to be just a fun one, but it's turned into something that has a touch of controversy along with it. And similar to the GORUCK issue, I am going to address this head on because that's what I do. And I know sometimes it might annoy people, but quite frankly, I think I'm a reasonable person and I also have no problem speaking the truth. So in this bag is the Track Store in C4X Plum. And this was the product of just really good marketing on Track's part. I think a week or two ago they said they found some extra material of C4X in a whole bunch of different colors from 2016. And they basically said they were going to make some store packs, 25 liter, and they marketed it as once they're gone, they're gone. They set a release date, they had a whole bunch of marketing leading up to it, and they really made it feel like you only had one opportunity to get this pack. And so, even though this pack was on the fringe of my interest, I decided it's now or never, I better give it a shot. And I did, and I scored one in plum because I'm used to this sort of thing, and again, just like the Gora controversy, I'm pretty quick with this, so I'm confident in my ability to catch these drops. Well, the very next day, they went and they accepted pre-orders for this pack. So, really there was no need to prepare, no need to rush, and I could have just effectively bought this pack on my own time whenever I wanted. And, you know, as someone who's watching this, that may seem like not a big deal, but here's the thing. It really isn't a big deal that they did a pre-order. It's a big deal that they marketed it as, you know, once they're gone, they're gone. And they drummed up all this interest really kind of unnecessarily. They could have just done a pre-order right from the start. And it feels very disingenuous to say that, you know, once they're gone, they're gone, but in a day or two, do a pre-order run. I'm pretty sure the thought of a pre-order run was debated beforehand, but that wouldn't help them from a marketing perspective. So, you know, just keeping it real here, Alec Farmer, the uh, guy who makes all the videos, his name was actually on the shipping label. You know, just some constructive criticism. I've dealt with drop culture in the sneaker world, in the clothing world for a very long time. And, you know, for better or worse, I made a video about the Peak Sitka collab. And, you know, drop culture is here to stay. The bag companies are just really finding their way with marketing. But there's sort of an implicit agreement to drop culture, which is if you make a limited drop, that's supposed to be it. It's the limited drop. And so when you get people to invest all this effort, go out of their way, for a certain time of day, feel all this anxiety and rush of adrenaline to try to catch something that they're after, and then in a day or two you take the wind out of their sails by basically opening it up to a pre-order, you're just not holding up your end of the agreement. So that said, let's check this pack out. It is a wet wax in plum. You can see I've got clothing to match. This is a Stone Island jacket. I love this color. I live in the Bay Area. I'm very close to wine country. Every time I go to wine country, I rock red wine colors. My favorite wine is a Cabernet Sauvignon from Silver Oak, Alexander Valley, not Napa Valley. And so this really just plays into that theme and that color really well. This was my favorite of all of the colors on offer. It was going to be this or none, and I'm glad I got it. It's a beautiful color. It's a deep, rich color. It's supposed to patina really well. The interesting thing is it's a wet wax. It's supposed to be the same C4X as the Evergoods Griffin. This just looks wet. I mean, it's late at night. It looks wet to the eye. And the one thing I've been cautioned is that, you know, California sun, it's a dry heat, but it could be enough to get this thing looking really, really wet. And I didn't think about that because I have a wax jacket, but I only wear it in the winter. So we'll have to see. As far as this pack goes, the style of this pack is not something that ever really 
appealed to me and that's kind of the thing again is I don't know that I would have bought this if it was just always readily available but on the fringe of my interest I figured let's give it a shot the material is beautiful there's no denying that the material is beautiful the design of this pack very simple very straightforward a giant rectangle kind of right in your face Honestly, a bit too plain for me, just from the naked eye. This is a nice touch though that I wasn't expecting because the one thing with all of the track products that I'm not a fan of is they put their logo front and center and it's just kind of plain and boring to me. Like I don't really like it. I thought this was sewn on. This is actually a patch panel. Thank goodness. No offense track, your brand might be great. The patch isn't bad, but I just don't want it so prominent right there. So I actually really like that this is removable and I had no expectations that it would be. Thank you for doing that. Pack itself, let's get into it. We've got really healthy sized water bottle pockets on the sides and they have a little bit of elastic in them for some extra give. I love that the material is the same, that it's not a black stretch or mesh, that they went with the same waxed plum material. This is amazing. I just noticed this right here. Oh my goodness. Austri Alpin kind of Cobra buckle type hardware for the connector on the bottom of the strap. That is an awesome touch it's nice it's huge it's burly it's gloss black paint it's beautiful love that that is such an amazing attention to detail feature the pulls on the bottom are actually metal d-rings and then we have kind of some cord savers in metal as well that's a nice touch i really like this going into the back so one thing i'm not sure of I think this is the same wax material on the back and I would be concerned about color transfer if I was wearing light clothes. Now, if I wear this jacket, I'm not worried about it at all, but I do like that they've put really quality foam padding down through the back, two strips, an area that's open to make it kind of airy. The foam itself feels pretty airy. And then that same material carries into the underside of the strap. It feels really nice. It feels like it's gonna be really comfortable. And if you remember the Evergoods Griffin review that I did, that's something that they did not do on the Griffin. They made the material on the backside the same. This has the full material with the edges wrapped, so it's gonna look good from the front, but it's gonna be comfortable from the back. Very well thought out design. Back to the pack, we've got really nice metal zipper pulls. And let's check this out. So in the front pocket, goes maybe a third of the way down. Really easy to pull around the edge. It's not a sharp edge and there's no rain guard over the top. So look at that, just very smooth. Inside we've got what feels like a cotton type of liner and a pocket that goes down to right here. So what is that? Little over halfway. Really nice sized pocket. Really beautiful color to contrast with the plum. And then inside it has a removable, I don't know what they call this, there's a name for this, but it's got clips at the top. We can take this out. Let's take a look at this real quick. Actually, before I start removing things, let's just weigh this guy with everything included. 3 pounds, 2.3 ounces. That's actually pretty hefty for kind of how plain this bag looks. And I think it's because the material is pretty durable and also pretty heavy with the wax. This organizer out front, what do we got? I'm guessing this is a strap to kind of hold it like a sling. Pretty small 
very thin. One main compartment. No further organization. A little bit of a fold on the bottom to make it a touch three-dimensional. Very nice zipper and two mesh pockets in the front with really quality mesh material. Very nice touch. Very nice that it actually matches the same material on the exterior of the pack. The one thing I do wonder, not sure, but with the Griffin, when you use Griffin pouches with waxed canvas, the color can transfer over to the high-vis material. Now this is not X-Pack on the interior, but I do wonder if you get this pack hot enough, if you're gonna see color transfer if you keep this guy right there. Just something to keep in mind. On the inside, again, one large pocket, two fairly large mesh pockets up top. Really a nice kind of front compartment to get access to stuff very quickly. And let's check out the main compartment. You know, one of the best things about a pack when you use it for the first time and it works well is just the feel of good zippers. And this right here is a good zipper. That is a joy to pull. Full clamshell opening and they give you all the way into the bottom here. So really nice access to the main compartment. On the back side of the front, we've got a pocket up top, no extra organization inside, and then we have a side pocket here, and once again, no extra organization inside. Similar to what I was saying about the Griffin, and what I would have liked to see is a pocket like this, a horizontal pocket so that you can crack open the top of the bag and get it stuffed very quickly. I like that. I like the layout. And this is something that you probably would only load up if you actually had the pack open. The other side of this, very plain. Nothing really going on here. Interesting that they decided not to fully line the interior on the sides. I'm not sure I understand that. Because to me, again, you know, wet wax material, there is, I think, the potential for color transfer there. And, I mean, depends what you're gonna put inside this, but it's not like it was a whole lot of extra material. I think it would have been really nice if they would have just lined these two sides and just have this whole thing match. Just throwing that out there. It does feel like there's something extra going on. And I did see a zipper, so let's check that out. We've got a zipper on the back side here. And it opens up to a dedicated laptop compartment that definitely has some foam padding to the back. Let's see if it has any foam padding to the front. And it definitely has some foam padding to the front as well. So. A really well protected, very large laptop compartment that doesn't really interfere at all with the main compartment of the pack. That is a really nice touch. This is, I believe, a very functional, very well designed bag. I am impressed with the build quality. I am impressed with the overall functionality. It looks a little plain from the front. Looks a little plain from the front, but I don't know that I'm mad at it. I'm not really mad at it. I think I like it more in person than I thought I would. Again, this was kind of on the fringe of my interest, but I'm happy with this purchase. I think this is a quality bag at a quality price point. And again, it's handmade in Scotland. Ethically sourced, handmade in Scotland, according to the bag. The handle up top, is a very thick kind of canvassy feeling material 
feels quite burly, very nice to hold. Overall, beautiful. Well executed, nicely done. Awesome of you to take really cool materials that you had lying around and make this pack. Again, it's just, if you know it's not really gonna be limited, if you know you're gonna be open to making what the market will bear, just say so. Don't get people all riled up. I know I was already on my soapbox, I'll leave it at that. Only one thing left to do, let's try this bad boy on. And you know what, just because, I'll slap this back on right now. Oh, I don't know about this. I remember people mentioning this and now I feel a little bit naked. Can you see what's missing? We are missing a sternum strap. I don't know. I don't know if I can go back to wearing a pack that doesn't have a sternum strap. I mean, I was wearing this arch around all day and I half kind of wanted a hip belt but I'm always rocking the sternum strap, so I'm annoyed, I'm annoyed, like I wanna pull this in. I'm gonna have to find a solution for this. Maybe mount it off of these points right here. There's no real webbing on these straps to add an aftermarket one. I'm gonna have to figure that out. If you have a tip out there for how to solve this on this pack, let me know. Track, if you're listening, Find a way to make one and make it out of C4X in plum. That'd be even better, right? Overall, that aside, which I'm really struggling to get over in part because my jacket is slippery, so the straps are just opening up on me. The straps themselves are actually quite comfortable in terms of how they feel against my body. Overall, it's a beautiful pack. It's a beautiful color. The materials are quality. It's very well made. It needs a sternum strap. But other than that, and the risk that I run of this melting in the California sun, I would say that this is a winner. And that's all I've got for this one. So what do you think of this pack? Love to hear from you. Did you catch one of these on the initial drop? I think the plum sold out instantly. I mean, I caught it as soon as it went live, and by the time I was done checking out, all of the plums were gone. Did you order one pre-order? I think the pre-order is already sold out. We'll see, who knows? Maybe they'll actually buy some rolls of this if it's popular enough. Wanna hear from you, what do you think? Drop a comment, let me know. That's all I've got for this one. Thank you for watching, I appreciate you, and I will see you at the next one soon.